Hey guys, Kevin Lewis, CEO and Principal Consultant at Promethean. Uh, Promethean is a credit repair specialization company. We focus on building, restoring, and boosting uh, our clients' credit. Uh, we are not a consolidation company. We are actually a full service company. And we, we specialize in making sure that people get to the credit score that they are looking for. Uh, so today is uh, what I call Tip Tuesday. Uh, usually every Tuesday or every other Tuesday, I drop a tip about credit repair. And so today is the first in a series of those uh, video tips. So and stay tuned. If you want, you can check out our, our web page at Promethean.com. Promethean spelled P-R-E-M-I-S-I-E-N. Uh, that's Promethean.com. You can, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want information from us, you can always email us at info at promethean.com or you can give us a call at our offices at area code 215-331-0471. So let's talk about one of the uh, easy tips uh, in uh, credit restoration, credit repair, and credit boosting. So there are some, there are a few things that uh, people know about credit repair and we certainly, um, we certainly aren't different in our knowledge than some people. However, the dissemination of knowledge, the way we pass knowledge along and the way we talk to our clients may be a little bit different because we don't just repair credit. We educate people on credit and how to repair it. We educate people through every step of the process. And so here is one of those pieces of education that I'd like to give you. So, um, and there's, there's no logical order to this, but I'll start by saying what a lot of people um, may not know is credit utilization and how credit utilization affects your credit score. What do I mean by credit utilization? Well, it's simple. If you have a credit card that has an available balance of $1,000 and you've used 500 of those $1,000, then your credit utilization on that card is 50%. Very simple, it's half, okay? The people at FICO, the people who, are, who rate your credit, the credit reporting agencies who look at your credit will tell you, or not will tell you, because they, most of them won't tell you, but what they know is what weighs heavily in their credit score, in your credit score, is your credit utilization. And they'd like you to have no more than 30 to 35% credit utilization. Now, a couple of, there's a couple of ways that we approach that credit utilization. And that's where we differ from a lot of companies. So we approach it from a debt, what we call a deficit spending perspective. And that is if you have one credit card that has a thousand dollar balance, another credit card that has I don't know, $10,000 balance, we say that don't spend more than 30%. Very simple. Now, now we understand that that's difficult. There are times when you have to buy something and on that $1,000 card, you may spend $900. But we ask that, you know, we try to get our clients to understand, pay the balance down at least, if you can pay the entire $900 before the credit reporting period, which is typically 30 days, then that works, but if you can't, at minimum, try to pay the try to pay six hundred so that your credit utilization is down to three hundred dollars, which is thirty percent. Again, it's thirty to thirty-five percent, but we recommend thirty percent. That way, you don't have an issue. Okay, always works. But here's the, here's another tip that people don't think about that could help. So we have clients who are sometimes they are cash rich and credit poor, sometimes they are credit rich and cash poor. What do I mean by that? So we have clients who have poor credit, but have savings in the bank. And the reason they, you, you would think, if they've got money in the bank, they've got 10,000, 20,000, dollars you would think, oh, why not just pay your credit cards off? I've, we've had a client who had a 529 credit score, but had $75,000 worth of savings in the bank. And you think, how is that possible? You have the money to pay off your creditors. Well, the answer is 
because that person's culture, that person's upbringing, that person's background dictated that they like to have savings in the bank. And it was very difficult for them to part with the savings. So they used credit and things happened. They got into some issues, but they did not want to part with their savings to pay that credit off. So we say to them, if you are cash rich and credit poor, unfortunately, you're going to have to change the way you think. Unfortunately, we want you to change the way you think. So take that money, pay it off. Because here's the thing, that $1,000, $10,000, $20,000 that you have in credit is going to cost you more, in some instances, more than you have in savings. So you might as well use your savings, pay it off, have a great credit score, and get access to better credit. And as such, you can have access to uh, liquid cash if that's what you need. You needed to go buy a car, you needed to go buy, or uh, you need to pay tuition. You know, you could always have a car that, and take a cash advance. Now, I am in no way promoting that you go out and just get credit frivolously. We want you to be, we want you to be diligent about how you use credit. But you can certainly, you certainly shouldn't pay more in interest than you have in savings just because you want to have savings in the bank. So that's an instance where the person was cash rich, credit poor. We've had other people though who are credit rich and cash poor. They've had low scores. So we had another young lady who, she had a 615 credit score, which is poor. By, by FICO standards, but certainly better than a lot of people that come through uh, our agency. Uh, but she had a 615 credit score. She was able to get credit because she didn't have a lot of credit. So, so she, she only had a few things on her credit report. Um, so she didn't have a lot of credit, but the credit that she did have, she was derogatory in. She didn't have cash though, so she couldn't go out and just drop um, we, she had one, she actually had one credit card that had a balance of, that she owed a balance of 4,200 and some odd dollars on the ma the uh, available balance had been 5,000 and it went to collections and she had a medical bill. That was one of that her medical bill was about 22, $2,500 or $2,600. And so those two things she just did not have, she never came across enough cash to pay for that or if she did she just you know there were some other things that she thought were more important um which is not uncommon and we don't judge first of all we are a no judgment agency so we pass no judgment on her about how she handled it but she's not she's not atypical she's like a lot of people so she didn't have cash to go pay off her balances but she was able to get credit so what we said to her was well the credit reporting agencies look at your credit utilization as a collective. So if you have uh, three credit cards, all with $1,000 available balances, and you've used 900 on each credit card, then they look at that as a collective. And they say, you're at 90% credit utilization. Well, we told her, go out and get, because she could, she could qualify, go out and get another credit card. So if she had $3,000, let's, let's just use arbitrary. Let me, let me use simpler numbers just because for me to keep it simple. I know you guys are, are astute and you guys are, are extremely intelligent. So you can do the math, but for me, I'm going to do the math. I'm going to, I'm going to simplify the math. So let's say you had one card that had an a thousand dollar available balance and you use 900 of it, which means your credit utilization was at 90%. Well, we told her, or we would say, if you can't pay off that $900 because you just don't have access, go out and get another credit card for $1,000. You go out and get another credit card for $1,000, now your credit utilization went from 90% down to 50%, little, little, little less than 50%. If you can get a $2,000 card, then you're less than the 30%. So that will, they look at your credit, the credit reporting agencies look at your credit as a collective and say, if you have 
$3,000 in available balance and you've used 1,000 of that $3,000, then it doesn't matter that that $3,000 is spread out over three different cards, then your credit utilization is at 33 and a third percent. And that certainly will satisfy. Again, we'd like you to be at 30, so that way you, you are comfortable, but it's really between 30 and 35. So, so we let me recap. So you can either, if you're cash rich and credit poor, you can use your cash. We, we, we encourage you to use your cash to pay off those balances so your credit utilization is under 30%. Or if you are credit rich and cash poor, we suggest that you go out and apply for more credit. Now, what we, tell, what we told her and what I will tell you guys is get that credit, but don't use it. Put it away. As soon as you apply for that card, you get it. There's a there's an old trick that people would use. They take a bucket, fill it with water. They put their credit card in it, put it in the freezer, let it freeze. That way, they're not tempted to, on impulse, go out and grab the card. They have to wait for the for the ice to melt before they can get that card and go use it. Um, I tell people, don't even do that. When the card comes, cut it up. When the card comes, cut it up immediately. As soon as you get it, cut it up. That way you won't use it. Now, don't close the account. Don't close the account because in, in, later, uh, in later videos, you'll hear me talk about um, the length of time that you have credit open. So don't, 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 uh, don't cut the card up and then close the account. But cut it up so you can't use it, but you still have it as an available balance showing up on your credit report. Now your credit utilization has you underneath 30%. Okay? So those are just some, that's a quick tip. That was a long tip, but that was one of, the, one of the tips that we give people to help them understand how to build credit. In subsequent videos, we'll, you'll hear me talk about, again, length of time. You'll hear me talk about how to deal with the creditors, the collections agencies, and so forth. But right now, just know if you have credit, try to keep the utilization under 30% and understand that the credit reporting agencies look at your credit as a collective. So once again, this is Kevin Lewis, CEO of Promethean. We are a credit repair agency uh, specializing in repair, restoration, and boosting of your credit. We are not a debt consolidation. We are not a credit consolidation company. We are a full service education and services agency uh, in the credit repair space. Please reach out to us if you want more information or you're looking to become a client or you know somebody who's looking uh, to boost and build their credit. Uh, please reach out to us. Our phone number is area code 215-331-0471. Our email address is info at promesian.com. That's P-R-E-M-I-S-I-E-N. And our webpage is promesian.com. Until next time, thank you for enjoying this video. If you enjoyed it, if you didn't enjoy it, well, thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you pass this information along. I hope you use the information and you can certainly reach out to us if you need more information or you want help repairing your credit. Uh, once again, Kevin Lewis, CEO of Promethean, and I'm signing off. Thanks and have a great week.